Apple AirPod uh, manufacturing is expanding to meet strong demand. This is according to China's Economic Daily Times. Uh, Obviously, uh, they're having a hard time manufacturing them. They are starting to ship, and that's that box I was holding up. I got my AirPods. They said January 12th I got them uh, like two days after Christmas, I think. So that's good. Mm -hmm. They're starting to arrive. And uh, you and I will do our little review of AirPods in uh, just a little bit because you got yours too, right? I do. Did you order them immediately as they went on uh, sale? No, not immediately, no. A little yeah. bit after, but... Um, they came pretty quickly. I was expecting to have to wait quite a long time, but I think that they shipped faster than I expected. Uh, you can be notified. I, it's funny. I went uh, to the Apple store in uh, Rhode Island because my AirPods were here and I was visiting my mom. And I went to the Apple store. I said, do you have any AirPods? And the guy said, no. So instead of going to the store, you actually can get notified. 9 to 5 Mac has put together a, a real-time uh, stock alert. I think it's from 9 to 5 Mac, where you give them an email address. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's a website 9 to 5 Mac's writing about. AirPods dot is in stock dot com. <laughs> Grammatically suspect, but you give them your email, you choose your store, and you will get a notification but if you don't want to give them the email, which I think maybe I would not want to, because who knows, <clears throat> they do have a button that says view the locations and you can see if they're in stock. Let me see here. Ontario, Ottawa, Toronto, Quebec. Oh, we want Montreal. The Apple St. Catherine store in stock. There we go. In stock. So but now, now that this show is live, in 20 minutes, they probably won't be. By the way, the only stores that are in stock, 12 stores, all in Canada. Every other store in the rest of the world, out of stock. <laughs> wow. What? Uh, wow. So, but this is uh, airpods.isinstock.com, and I gather they do it for other products. Tim Cook not revealing how sales have been, but did say that demand is very strong, and they're very happy. Um so that's good. I'm glad AirPods are selling well. I, I, I want to give you my review, but I'm going to hold off. We're going to get a couple of news stories, and then you and I can give, do our review. Um, well, actually, you know what? Let's do it now, because you okay. had a great tweet that inspired <laughs> yeah. me. Because I it? look now, the, the, everybody, when they saw these AirPods, and I'm going to take mine out. Actually, do a close-up, because I want to show you how it looks. It, this is what the box looks like. It comes in a little... A cardboard box. It has. It comes with an airport. Uh, I'm sorry, not airport. Um, lightning port charger, because that's what's on the bottom. You charge the case, and then when you open the case inside, there's a little green light, because the case yeah. is a battery too, and it charges the AirPods. So five hours of listening time for the stereo if you use them both, uh, or actually five hours each if you use one at a time. So you can get total ten hours, and then this will recharge them three or four times. So they say 24 hours of listening time if you've got everything fully charged. So at night, you plug this in and you charge it. And Renee says, a lot of the stuff I'm listening to is spoken word, podcasts and such. So he just puts one in and that will go five hours and then puts the other one in. I find them very comfortable. My wife has very small ears. And she said they bug her ears after a little while, as most of these uh, kind of earbuds do. She uses in-ear headphones from Etymotics and prefers those. Uh, so if you have a small ears, these this is one size fits all. I find they fit quite well. And uh, I, I will concur with Renee Ritchie. They don't fall out easily. Uh, you can, no, You can move your head don't. around and stuff. Um, you don't wear them during your martial arts sessions, I'm sure. You, you would not be able to wear them during my... That would be very painful. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Plus, you'd probably lose one somewhere and you'd have to go to the, uh, you know, return, try to get one... <laughs> AirPod back, which is embarrassing. Yeah. So the, somebody said close it because it makes a satisfying click. You want to hear the click? I it's it's it is satisfying. Here, I'll hold it up to the microphone. Ooh. <laughs> it's 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 stress relief. I like opening and closing it it's quite magnetic. a lot. The, the, yeah, so you get that little magnetic kind of they won't fall out. I actually like them. And I know you look kind of dorky. I'll I'll put one in. I wish I, they didn't they weren't the iconic white. Is really yes. what I wish for. I but wish they had it in black. Black would be not so dorky looking, right? Yeah. It's too obvious. They also do a nice thing. You, It's very easy to pair to your phone. 
Yeah. I might show you that. Uh, I'll have to unpair them and pair them again. But you know it's, what? I don't it's, mind it's doing that. Really? Exactly. If you've ever used a Bluetooth headphone before, you know pairing it to the phone is the worst part of the Bluetooth headphone. And they, you know, they lose the pairing and all sorts. So let me go to my Bluetooth and I'm going to forget my ear pods. Forget this device. So I don't, I've unpaired it. Forget device, yes. And by the way, one thing that happens, it removes the device from everything because it uses iCloud to sync. So now this is how you do it. You open your uh, Bluetooth. Then you open your AirPods next to your phone. Whoops. And boom. AirPods not connected to this phone. So I'm going to connect. Hold the button on the back of the case. So I've never had to do this before. The first time, I guess because I forgot the old ones. So there's a little button, and now it's connecting my AirPods. That's how easy it was. Shows you the battery life. Boss's AirPods. Boss is my name. I tell Siri to call me Boss, so that's why they call him Boss's <laughs> AirPods. I know, I know. Psychologically damaged. It's okay. I, I said nothing. I said nothing. Sometimes I, you know, you've probably, your husband says this to you, I'm sure. Wait. You, sometimes when you're around a therapist, you worry that everything you say is somehow re horribly revealing. Yeah, which we're not on all the time. Like okay, there's certain good. stuff that I guess you're doing all the time, but we're not analyzing people all the time. That's work. So I, you don't want to do work okay. when you're not. So you're not right? thinking, oh, clearly he has authority issues because he made his phone call him boss. You're not saying that. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I know you're saying that's okay. So now it's paired. But the other thing that's cool because of iCloud is also paired. It was very easy. I, I went to my uh, MacBook and it's, it knew I had these. It said, and I just pressed connect and then yes. it connects so I can listen. Same thing. They say it pairs to your watch, although I'm not really sure how you get them to work with your watch. Do you know? That's a good question. No, I don't. No, there's no <laughs> Actually, button. Actually, no. There's no button. No, I don't know. There's a few things still missing in the ecosystem. For instance, I love I how in the in the notifications you can have battery life, and so I have battery life of my phone and watch in my phone or my iPad. But it sh and it should add the headphones to that, right? But it doesn't. There's no apparent way to see what the battery situation is on this, uh, unless I don't know. If, unless I'm and somebody can fill me in on that. But that should be added to this. I'm sure they will in the next generation. Just have a little AirPods bat because the pencil shows up there. Uh, the, uh, if you have an iPad. So let's just do, I haven't done this yet, but this should also be paired to my iPad because it's on the same iCloud account, right? Mm -hmm. So if I go to Bluetooth, yep, Boss's AirPods. So uh, so I can connect them. Anything else? Uh, I think the sound quality is excellent. I'm very pleased with the sound quality. Um, yeah, the sound quality is really good. I can rarely can I tell if Renee is on the AirPods versus on his phone. Well, and so that's even so that's even in comparison to like, you know, having it on speaker yeah. mode, which is much worse. One weird thing did happen to me. Uh very early on. Let me see if I can find the uh, voicemail message. Very early on, I was saying, "Oh, I'm going to try the microphone. I'm going to leave myself a voicemail message." And something weird happened. I made the call, and the phone, instead of sounding like the brr, brr, sounded like blub, blub, blub. And then my voicemail message came on and said, Hello, this is Leo. It was all slow. So I left a message. I thought, well, that's odd. And the message all, I, I, can't, I should play it for you. Because it was all messed up. Huh. So somehow, I hadn't done anything weird, but somehow these things uh, got screwed up. It hasn't happened mm. since. Uh, I, I left a message so that I could play it for you, but uh, I don't think it's a good demonstration, frankly. <laughs> of uh, Here, I'll play it for you. You can, you can uh, see, get the audio up. This is what the message I left sound like. I left it in the car with people talking. I'm going to... So, it hasn't happened again, and it's not happened to you? No, that's scary. The problem I have is that you might not know that that's what's happening, and you might leave that message <laughs> and not know. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah. that's a problem. 